Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Games Awesome Live. We're headed to the CEO's office at KB Security. I know that uh, there's gonna be probably a ton of people calling us stupid, but I really can't remember. Oh, they said Godot said that he quit. Yeah, KB Security. I guess it was like the extended part of that last okay. clip, huh. the last flashback that they showed us. Interesting, because yeah, I, don't, I totally just don't remember him saying that. But I guess I was probably concentrating so much on Godot yeah, his voice, voice that it's hard to actually. I should look. remember it. But. Yeah. All right, here we go. To the CEO's. Oh, here we go. October 13th, KB Security CEO's office. I'm gonna, I just want to say right now that I think that the, the very fast bike ride from here is going to be a huge factor oh, somehow. Oh, yeah, they've said it enough times. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> So, I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look geek. It's just like you'd expect in a CEO's office. No, what? <sighs> I don't work in an office anymore. Also, why would yeah. walls be thick in a CEO's office? For privacy. Office? Oh, is that how it is? These look like thick in terms of security. Yeah. Like I guess. steel, like a fucking vault. And that's not what I expect from a CEO's no, office. No, I actually expect windows in a CEO's yeah. office. Yeah. Like <laughs> Lots a nice of windows. View. <laughs> So that you can see the people working. This. This is nothing what I expect. What does she know? Yeah. She also, She's yeah. Spirit what, medium. <laughs> what has that got to do with anything? Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's you guys. Oh, it's Detective Gumshoe. Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? <laughs> sure was, pal. The prosecutor made us real fools out of us. Yeah, I feel for you. I Aww. feel for you. <laughs> wow, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like... Oh, that was great. You guys got what you deserve, pal. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> or something to that effect. <laughs> <laughs> do you... Do I really sound like that to you, pal? <laughs> if the gumshoe feats, you sound like that. Um, well, anyway... The point is, I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. And I can sympathize when things don't go your way. <laughs> Sometimes, I feel like Wong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> what? Three games now yeah. and you haven't realized that he's a nice guy? Maya can be a real thieving dick sometimes. <laughs> He saved her life. Like, he got in a car accident trying to save her yeah. life. <laughs> now, if, now, if this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating. All right. Uh, how you doing, Gumshoe? What happened here? Detective Gumshoe, tell us about what you know about the murder. Um, okay. <laughs> what the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. <laughs> hey, come on. What about how we put our hearts into our work? Put our hearts into our work. Things are really working against us right now and we really need help. Please. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? <sighs> okay, I won't cry on you, pal. <laughs> he did it. He's the victim. Oh. The victim's name is King Bulaud. He was the CEO of KB Security and went pretty, and a pretty big fellow in his own right. His corpse was discovered at nine o'clock this morning. His estimated time of death was one o'clock in the morning on October 12th. Everything happened at one o'clock in the morning on October 12th. That's how 12. most Phoenix Wright cases are. Everything happens at the exact same time. Cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head, probably an object in his womb. It happened at exactly the same time that Master Mask was stealing the urn, huh? Autopsy report added to the court record. So why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Blood's body was stashed away inside oh, the safe. Oh shit. man, that's macabre. Yeah. So, actually, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> what else is new? 
Oh no, that makes sense. So he was killed yesterday at one in the morning, and his body wasn't found until this morning, the 13th. At like a full day later. A day and like eight hours. So like 32 hours later. Yeah, or 5,462 minutes. You're <laughs> calling me brutal. What? Because I said what else is new to you being oh. confused about. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> All right. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, out he came. I don't think that math is right, by the way, at all. I just threw out numbers. Oh, so the body fell out. That white string must be the shape of when he fell out. I think we still need some more information about Mr. Billard. Maybe you could start by getting the man's name right. Did she say billiard? Yeah, I think so. Detective Atme. So, um, what happened to Mask in the Mask? He's at the detention center screaming like a madman. And is this... Who does he referring to yeah, here? Yeah, is he talking about Ron or is he talking about Abby? I think he's talking about Ron. Me I think too. that I think Gumshoe's still convinced that Ron is Master Mask for some reason. Ron. All right. All right. Ron, Abby, Abby. Um, Investigate me again. He keeps yelling. Ah, no, no, I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyway, right? Oh, you mean detective at me. <laughs> oh, that was great. That guy got what he deserved. <laughs> now that's the detective I know and love. Shit. Think about it. At me was always around when the calling card showed up. But he always mysteriously disappeared when the heist took place. I was hot. <clears throat> I was hiding at the crime. Um, I was hiding at the crime scene. I, um, <clears throat> I was hiding at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was a thief. This episode is just all characters doing impressions of other characters. Totally, it's, weird. it's incredible. That would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen item that he keeps bragging about. Yeah, he just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. But there's this one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the Tio of Eminon case. It, there was a witness on that one. A witness? This guy? Maybe. Here, I saved the newspaper clipping. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. I love how non-pertinent evidence is never presented to them. If you are handed something, it is relevant to the case. There's never, like, junk evidence, which I guess is a good thing for the player. Yeah. But it makes no sense. That there's never anything that not relevant. Um, stolen. Stolen? The gem and the thief. Hey, this guard here. Haven't I seen him before? Somewhere before? Please, someone, imitate GoBot. <laughs> it's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it... Ooh. Does he look like the guard at the jail? That's the only guard we've seen that I can think of. The precious gem, the Tear of Eminon. Priceless. I'm gonna present that to Gumshoe too. You know what else wasn't discussed? Um, the red jewel that he keeps flashing and talking about. I mean, he keeps flashing and talking about it. Yeah! I think the blackmail letter's still gonna enter into things. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. Okay. Prosecutor Godot. Oh, that prosecutor! I really don't like that guy! Except that you're probably going to be his biggest fan during the trial or something. <laughs> Wait, Prosecutor Godot sure is cool! <laughs> you sure are lame, Nick! 
Aww. <laughs> Man, I think that she's been spending too much time with uh, Desi. Oh, do you think? Oh no, she's, she's becoming... been hard on, on <laughs> poor Phoenix Wright. And she's she getting calls into... him Nikki Boy. Oh, yeah. Time. I think she's going to start getting into femdom. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... The way he used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight. Yeah, I think he did that that way because he knew it hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyway. So, who is that Java addicted masked maniac anyway? Phoenix keeps saying lines like that. Who is that masked man? <laughs> Prosecutor Godot. He's quite the enigma, huh? Where'd you learn that work, Gumshoe? Well, I don't know. The thing is, pal, I never even heard of the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office, came out of nowhere, and they were like, do you have any prosecutor's training? He was like, no. <laughs> That's right. He said this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true according to his records anyway, but no way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in court, a maverick that'll give me goosebumps. <laughs> goosebumps? You? Yeah, I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe. I had no idea you were so unpopular. Aww, <laughs> buddy. I uh, know that's not what I meant, but also true. <laughs> that Godot guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hiding some sort of dark secret. Shit, yeah. Take note, player. Because I'm going to repeat this later, too. <laughs> <laughs> They've been trying to make that very evident to us that he knows me. Yes. Um, I'm going to present... Do you think that he's somebody from a previous game? Go die? Yeah. Like, they keep trying to hammer this home to us that we know him. Could it be Edgeworth? Why would Edgeworth do that? I don't know. We just haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. Could it be, like, another prosecutor that we've defeated? Von Karma in boy form? That's pretty hot. All right. We'll, sp we'll see. Could it be Ron Delight? Could it be Ron Delight, a time traveler? Could it be a time traveler? It's probably a time traveler. Probably. Do you think it's Butts from the future? <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Oh wow, that's Man, a cool image. Man, he really image. chilled down in his older years. Yeah, that's a really cool image. <laughs> you think it's Phoenix Wright himself? It kind of actually makes sense, doesn't it? The way that he's got white hair slicked back, like he's aged. But in the future they get rid of aging of your skin, but they couldn't get rid of aging of your hair. So he's got white hair, and it's still kind of slicked back, but he's got a tan. Maybe. His eyes aged really poorly and kind of fell out, and so that's why he wears a mask. <laughs> that's really disturbing. Yeah. Don't <laughs> Becky thinks in the future our me. eyes are gonna fall out. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> this was his first heist, and I guess I underestimated him. I just presented that newspaper article. Oh, okay. By accident, actually, I just kind of shook this. I was, I was sure I was going to get him, so I was careless and was the info on the witness. Oh, gosh. By witness, do you mean the guard in this photo? Yeah, he and the detective worked together to try to catch Masca de Masca. Maybe the guard is Godot. Maybe. But he got away anyway, huh? That guard. I got the weird feeling that I'd see him around, wait, wait. That really makes it seem like it's Godot. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of things going on here. Uh, what we got here? Time of death, 1 a.m. Cerebral hemorrhage from blunt trauma to the heat. Okay. Detective Gumshoe, I brought this right here. Sorry. It's hard to believe, but there's a limit to how much my brain can hold. This is very relevant to the case, Gumshoe. In fact, you just handed it to us. Yeah, it's just an odd copy. I got two wheels and eyes, but I've only got one brain. 
Your brain's can... a muscle, you gotta exercise it, man. <laughs> I can see your eyes and ears, but the jury's still out on the brain thing. <laughs> Burn. Hey, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. Nah, I just think I'll burn him quiet. <laughs> Master Mass Brooch. Detective come show but this right here. Alright. Think this? Yeah, maybe. This is proof that Wanderlite was here with the crime scene when the murder happened. His wallet. And this key card, huh? I think we need to ask Mr. Delight about some of those two things. Probably the same thing if I do that then. Yeah, probably. About this blackmail letter. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it too, pal. Why would Kane Broad have been blackmailing Juan Delight anyway? Well, Mr. Delight used to work at KB Security, right? But what was it that made him quit? Neat, that's it. Maybe the reason he's being blackmailed. Well, I'm in the middle of investigating that right now. Oh, all right. I don't know. Detective Gumshaw, how about this? Okay. I don't know. Let's just exhaust it. So Detective at me wasn't hit on the back of the head after all. That's right, because he was the real thief. He wanted it to look like he was knocked out. <laughs> so he bent it on purpose. I'd stake my reputation on it. Gah, what kind of a creep would run, ruin an antique for that? Security camera photo. The thief in the photo taken by the security camera is missing the brooch. Yup, the thing is, there's no evidence that the photo was tampered with. We just asked you about the brooch. Yeah, man. And you had no, no idea about it. So why do you know about the missing brooch in this photo? It was definitely taken at 12.58 a.m. Two people have now said it was definitely taken at 2.58 a.m. 2.58? 12.58. <clears throat> okay. Are we to believe that then? Is this the game trying to make it clear to us that even if the photo had gone through a computer programmed by at me, that we need to trust the timestamp? I think so. Okay. Because if they betray us on this, if it isn't, you're gonna you're gonna rage. The controller's going through that plasma screen. I That's swear. That's okay. To, we could just use that. Yeah, plasma we'll just screen. use the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it turn. I turned the tables at the trial today with the mystery of this missing brooch. I wonder if there's something more to this missing piece of costume jewelry. Camera data. The thief in the photo taken by the, oh. Same thing. Detective, oh, okay. Ooh, laddie dad, it's a fancy kid, that's two pleasure things. La 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 la. See what you've done? Do, 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 do. You think you're so cool. I did think I was cool. Oh, I think you're cool too. I was just joking. Remember, don't tell anyone about the emblem, okay, pal? Does the thief ever send these to the police? No, always to the victims. Up until now, the victims have always come to us looking for help, though. Not that it happened this time, you mean. That's not what happened this time, you mean. You like that way, right, pal. Listen up! If you guys ever get... Oh, okay, we've heard this. Yeah. Do we have any profiles that he might be? Oh, you're gonna do oh. this stuff? What happened? You had a thought? Did it hurt? A joke. A good joke. What kind of a TV does a vampire watch? A plasma. Because <laughs> like fun. Yeah, but I don't think that's a good joke. I think it needs to be altered somehow to be more clever. Something, going there. something to do with vampires, TV, plasma, like, it needs to be altered. I know it's not good, I just think that there's a joke in there somewhere if you can structure it properly. Oh, they didn't like it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Work on it, work on it. 
Want to hear my joke? Why did Sally fall off the swings? Why? Because she had no arms. Knock, knock. Not Sally. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. Um, she doesn't have any yeah. arms. I told my nieces and nephews that joke, and they're like, no, but she could knock on the door with her feet, and like she learned how to live without her arms. And I was like, oh. Then how did she hit the doorbell? How'd she press the doorbell? That only works for boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, I love that Sally joke too. And what I just said was a Freaks and Geeks reference. Um, I just thought maybe, like, why did... Why did the vampire get sick from bad blood? Because he didn't have a plasma screen. No. Because <laughs> he didn't screen the blood. Yeah. Like, a kind of, like... Yeah, it's... Maybe something with plasma screen could... You guys work on it then. Email your jokes to jokes at fmstv.com. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mom, so what about these? Hey, thanks, pal. How did you know I had a sore throat anyway? <laughs> It's not a lozenge. It's a lozenge. Chomp. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Ack. Sorry, that thing's really smooth and shiny, so I thought it was a piece of candy or something. <laughs> I can't believe you ate that whole thing in one go. What? Oh, oh. I almost swallowed it too, pal. <laughs> oh, my poor, my poor mega tomahawk. You didn't even know what this thing did until like a day ago. Yeah, dude. Mm, just for old times. Here, take a look at my attorney's badge. You still showing that cheap little thing off? A wheel man keeps his mouth shut and kills his swab police badge, pal. All right. Profiles or no? Uh, yeah, maybe. This is what gets really exhausting towards yeah. the end of investigations when you have so much evidence. Kane Ballard. Detective Gumjo, tell us more about Shane Boo Bluebird. <laughs> That's Kane Ballard, not Shane Blueballs, pal. Oh yeah, the detective in this case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. Victim. The victim, I mean. <clears throat> well, you were the victim up until Mr. Ballard was found dead. Man, for some reason, I just have this. I'm smelling, I'm not smelling it, but you know how when you think about a smell really hard, yeah. you can smell it? Yeah, what is it? Horses. Aww. That musk from horses? Yeah. Can't get, it's just in my head. You know what I smell? What? Popcorn. Why are we drawing this out so hard? Oh, <laughs> this, <no. laughs> this episode, like, there are people who want to watch the game and are just like, come on. Uh -huh. Not today. Remember to, remember to buy Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations so you can play distraction free through our affiliate links below. <laughs> <laughs> Are you annoyed by Let's Players taking too much time to play your favorite games? Buy them from <laughs> www.letsplaygamespladefaster.com. <laughs> it's a new feature on games. Uh. Okay. Yeah, his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. <laughs> okay, Nick, now's our chance to get more info about the victim. So hurry up and ask. Now he'll, uh... Mm, more and more talk. Yeah. The victim. Can you tell us about Mr. Ballard? He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? Power to the players. <laughs> <laughs> well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Ballard must have had a chance, must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing that kind of work. Oh, and? And I don't know how to put this, but the guy was a kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too. I just love money. I can't ever get enough! Please stop leaning towards me like that. You aren't getting any of my wallet. And there's Do you no... think he pays money? No. I don't think he has money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think he sleeps in the office and just eats whatever 
Pearls makes them. Pearls, yeah, brings them <laughs> for, from Curane Village. Anyway, uh, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Oh, so that's my problem. I think I need to be a shiftier. <laughs> Let me go already. Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Oh, geez, this guy was shady. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Oh, KB Security used to head security operations against Mask and Mask. What? Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation took a nosedive. So, it really was Mr. Ballard who sent Ron the blackmail letter, huh? Hmm. So, the, black meter, uh, the blackmail letter was sent to Ron D. Light from Mr. Ballard, head of KB Security, with the, I, with the, the assumption that Ron actually was Mask to Mask? Mask? I guess so. Or his identity being revealed had something to do with something else altogether. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because it doesn't say... Wait a minute. Let's just check that again. Who is it technically addressed to? Yeah, it never actually says... True identity revealed to the world. Bring $50,000. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. So even though it's referring to a red diamond that Detective Atme had in his possession, who... At We're this assuming. ...is Master Mask. Oh, no, no, we know that that red diamond, come on, that's his, that's the red diamond, come on. Okay. It has to be. I'm I'd be so really assuming. fucking pissed. Yeah. If the if fucking that red diamond that the main the suspect always yeah. goes like this to isn't what this is being referred to yeah. here, I'd be angry as shit. I'd have to buy two more plasmas. Um, but what I'm thinking here is, though, it doesn't specifically say mask to mask in this. So. Yeah. That's something we have to keep in mind. Sorry. All right, so I think we'll take a break here because um, we we'll still haven't examined examine this room. Yeah. So when we come back, we're going to get down and dirty in the KB Security CEO's office after the break. Stay tuned. Video Games Awesome Live continues. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Video Games Awesome Live. Uh, we're just going to now investigate the KB Security's office, and there's quite a lot of stuff that looks clue-like. Let's start with the obvious. This stool. Nothing. <laughs> All right, let's move on to this tape outline. This rope! You think he fell out of the tape when it was open? Yes, Maya. <laughs> That's what happened. I don't think so. <laughs> so you mean? Yeah, I think it's string shows where the corpse was lying. You, you, you mean? The victim! He was killed by being crushed by the safe door! <laughs> <sighs> she can't be serious, can she? Just my tie a little bit. Need to look my best. On my birthday. It's Kyle's birthday on your birthday. Oh, is it his birthday? Oh yeah, it's Kyle's birthday today. Yeah, man. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Sorry. <laughs> Did you have one ready yeah. that you needed to? Excuse me. It's the problem with chugging um, carbonated we have beverages 30 on seconds, the brakes. So we have We're to like, like <laughs> we shove our face with food and drink and yeah. come back. <laughs> hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out for a second. <laughs> oh, nice. I, I feel just like a CEO. Hey, you! Whip me up a cup of some really expensive import tea and some scones! Move it! Ah, this is the life. Um, the victim sat in the chair before he was brutally killed, you know. <laughs> Eek! A man just died. <laughs> Check out this big, thick binder here. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick! <laughs> hey! Is that the blunt object you are here? Oh, that could be. Reading a file isn't exactly backbreaking work. Just a little hard on the eyes. Ah! What did you find out, Nick? 
this file is not about any sort of security operations or anything. It's just a bunch of porn in here. This huge file is all about mask and mask. It's mostly artistic nudes. <laughs> it's filled with info on them. What? What kind of info? I already said. Erotica. It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Hey, Nick. Look at the last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier of Eminon, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Master Mask stole. So then, $100,000 is the value of the Solomon item? I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. Kane's list added to the court record. I want to see that now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if KB Securities had information on all of the things he stole and they were keeping a running tally of... It doesn't include the, the diamond. Yeah. Unless the well, tier the diamond, of Eminon is? No, the tier of Eminon is a blue jewel. Oh, okay. And the red diamond is just something that they've been talking about on that the That he side. received. Yeah. It wasn't something that Mask Mask stole officially. Why would they undercut all the all the prices? I don't know. Could these possibly be dollar amounts that they accept KB Securities accepted to allow him to steal the stuff easily? Maybe. Yes. Hmm. Just speculation at this point. Yeah, it's 1 million yen. The equivalent to $100,000. When you add that up? Yep. Or, oh yeah, it's roughly 10 times to get into yen. These looks like some kind of bookshelf rolling cabinet hybrid. Mm, I can't get between these two shelves. Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. Yeah, dude, just like in the library, Maya. So, I guess... Yeah, we've been in through this. Yeah. So, I guess this one shelf at the time, huh? So, I guess it's... One shelf at a time, huh? Looks like they're filled with bunches of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. It'd be a good night's reading if you got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting, like UFOs or something. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the safe itself. Oops. You think about it, a dead guy was laying in here all night. Yeah, oh, by the way, didn't bother asking about fingerprints. Don't bother about asking about fingerprints, there were none. Well, somebody opened the safe that night of the crime, huh? Right? Yeah, I think so. Well, if Mr. Boulard's body was hidden in there, it must have meant that it was opened by either the killer or the victim, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. Ho 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 I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? Um, okay, shoot. Opening this baby is no piece of cake. There are only a few people who know how to open this safe, pal. Yeah, and? Everyone that knows how to open this safe had airtight alibis. I checked. Let's go ahead and assume that one of those airtight alibis isn't airtight! Everyone except one, that is. Ron? I'm almost afraid to ask. Former security chief. He was the security chief? Apparently. One delight. <laughs> what? One delight? He was the security chief? Ron, so we knew how to open the safe, huh? Yeah, sorry for waiting on you for way down, pal. <laughs> the look on your face. You're an idiot. You're dumber than me. <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> wow, look at that. A huge framed photo. Tall mountains rising majestically against the dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? This was his best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough, or he really had rotten luck when it came to the weather. 
Maybe if he had lived a little longer, he would have seen some better days. Oh, there's a button here. Let's see. Uh-oh. Hey, cut it out. Don't bless that. Ha ah, that was pretty funny. I never knew that Detective Gumshoe could jump like that. Why, you are such a fucker. <laughs> what is that button about anyway? It's an emergency buzzer. It says right there on the panel. God damn it. <laughs> Oops. You're right. It's written right there. <laughs> Nick, how many times have I told you to read instructions first? This alarm's connected to the basement guard's room. It used to summon security up here. Really? Then it's possible that on the night of the crime? Oh! So when the CEO was attacked, do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Mm, he might not have had time because he got hit with a blunt object, or yeah, maybe like, the head of security like kind of cut something just before that and then reinstalled it just after. Yeah, there's multiple explanations. And yeah. Yeah, I thought about that. So I asked down there. But they said that there was no buzzer that went off that night. So we couldn't find any fingerprints. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Ballard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. And it's impossible to take gloves off of a dead body, as we all know. Hmm, I think we'd better go talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. Emergency buzzer added to the court record. Any other things around here? The desk is what resulted in the comfy chair scene. I think we're done. I Let's um, so. present... Uh... Let's present this. Detective Gunshaw, about this right here. We just got done talking about it, Gumshoe. Just press it, my and we'll see if it reminds him. Um, so about this? Huh? Where's that? <laughs> it's on the coffee table. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Maya. What's wrong? We copied that kid without permission. Don't show it to him. He might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Ah! Uh Oh, it's nothing. It's just my billfold. <laughs> That's a pretty thick billfold you got there, pal. Now I really want you to show it to me. <laughs> I've never seen that much money. All right. Um, we already presented this again. The new split. Uh, thing. yes, we did. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna go talk to the um, cable securities guy yeah. about that buzzer and see if what's going on in here security guards office oh no 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 okay god i was just yeah I had this feeling that old bag was gonna come out and that she would be like the person who also worked here or something well but it looks like it's um, somebody butts. else oh butts yes because he wears orange right yeah, and it's kind of messy and like. He's <laughs> got a fucking um. What do you call these? A ruck, uh, hobo, hobo sack. sack. What, what is it called? Um, I forget the name yeah, for it. Yeah, me too. But that would seem like so the way he would travel, <laughs> even when he's got a job. He'd just be always around with a hobo sack. Wow, this is really something else. For a security guard's office, he sure doesn't feel very secure. KB security guard. Uh-oh. I just remembered. Larry might be. Hey, Nick! What's up? A bindle. A bindle, yeah. Ugh. So he is here. All right. Well, we, I guess uh, we'll be right back with um, Larry Butts and his... Oh. I was going to say his... Never mind. <laughs>